Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here. So in uh, this uh, new video, I would like to show you a uh, lab for Huawei. So uh, we are going to see how we can make the uh, router of Huawei to be a uh, SSH server. So that means we can, from any SSH client, connect to the SSH to be able to configure the router. So as you know that the SSH uh, is a protocol which works on TCP port 22. It is a protocol uh, which has uh, encryption, so it's totally different than Telnet because Telnet, everything you send you send is as a clear text when you do the comments, while the SSH everything is encrypted between your SSH client and the router. So you are sure then that you, the comments that you are sending to the router are not being checked or are not being uh, changed uh, while it is being transferred and sent to the router. So uh, configuring SSH uh, uh, on Huawei is a bit uh, tricky. So that's why I have decided to do this uh, video to show you how this can be done. So as you can see here, we have a lab of six pawns. Before we start doing those pawns, let me show you what is the lab scenario. And then I will come back to the pawns and start doing them. So this is my lab scenario. I do have my computer over here, which is connected to the interface gigabit 0 over 0 over 0 of the Huawei router. And on my computer, I do have an IP of 192.168.2.254. Of course, we need to put an IP on the gigabit interface of the router. So then this computer will be able to reach to that router. Now, normally when you configure SSH on the router, of course, you may be on the same network, but also you may be sometimes in a remote place. So that means that uh, from uh, if you are, for, for example, sitting at home, and one of your customers, or maybe your office code, you have a problem on the, the uh, router, then you can log into the router remotely from your home using the internet uh, uh, connection, because uh, then the router should have a public IP or anyway, port forwarding or something to be able to reach the router. So the main idea is that the router should be reachable from the computer to be able to make SSH to the router. So for this reason, I have decided to make it uh, like a cable for this lab, just to know that there is reachability between the computer and the router. And then I'm going to configure SSH over here. I'm going to show you how you can do all the steps, and then we'll test it at the end to see if SSH is going to work. So let's go back to the points and start doing them. Point number one, ping from your PC to the router. Is it successful? So as I said, on my PC, I do have already an IP, but on the router, not. So if we go to the comment prompt, and uh, let me make it a bit bigger so you can see better. So if I do now ping from the computer to the router, which has an IP or should have the IP.2.1, you can see it is not working because I do not have any IP on the router. So let's put a, an IP on the router and then let's try the ping again. So this is my router. We we'll go to the system view. I'll go to the interface gigabit 0 over 0 over 0. Please look to the picture so you know what I'm doing. And now I put the IP address 192.168.2.1.24 and undo shutdown. Very good. Now if I go back to the ping and I try to ping it, here we go. So now I have reachability from my computer to the router. Point number one is done. Point number two, generate a new RSA key pair. So what is RSA? RSA key pair that uh, is used for the encryption. As I said, that SSH do some type of encryption. So uh, the tunnel or the connection via SSH from your client to the server is always encrypted. So for this reason, uh, you should make uh, the RSA key pair. So there are some keys will be sent from the router to the SSH client. So uh, to be sure that uh, the uh, connection will be encrypted. So first we have to generate those RSA uh, key pair. So let's go to the router. Let's go up. And from here I have to say RSA. And I make question mark. I'm going to use the local key pair. And of course, if you do have some keys from before, you can destroy them and then create the new ones. Or you can just say create. So what's going to happen? So this router has already some keys, he said. So he said, do you want to replace them? I will say yes. Now it says to you, what is the uh, size you want for this key? It can be from 512 to 2048. The bigger the size, the more encryption becomes. But then the uh, encryption will be taking longer to be de-encrypted de because the size is uh, uh, too big. So uh, ideally you go for 2048. I'm going to go for 1024, which is fair enough. 
and you can see that the keys are being generated and in a moment they will be finished so those keys when you connect ssh to the router this will be exchanged with your ssh client point number two is done point number three they say go to aaa and create a new local user so with ssh you need a username and you need a password so you need username and password to be able to log into ssh we can create a username and password locally on the router but we have to first go to AAA and then create that username and password. Of course, you can have also AAA to connect to a radio server and then create the, user, the username and password on radio server. But for this lab, we are going to use the local database on the router. So let's go to the router. First, I have to say AAA. Then I will say local user question mark. And then here they say put the uh, user. So I'm going to put uh, Maher. And then question mark. Very important that you go for the privilege level number 15. So privilege level number 15 is the highest level that you can provide for an account on the Huawei router. That means it's like the administrator. All right. So on that uh, privilege level, you if you log in using the account Maher that I'm just creating now, then in this case, you can configure anything you want on the router from SSH. So I'm going to give it uh, privilege level 15. And now we have to put the password and we say cipher, password cipher, and then I'm going to put Hadad. So now I created a username uh, account, which is Maher, password Hadad, and it has privilege level 15. And then I will say enter. You can see that the new user has been created. Excellent. So this step has been done. Point number three is done. Point number four, now they say to enable the SSH server on the routing using this command stmnet enable server enable so by default the ssh on the Huawei router is not enabled so you need to switch on the process for the ssh to work on the router so how can we do that it's just one comment you have to say stlnet it should be stlnet this one yeah server enable so by doing that you have started the SLNet server, so that means the SSH process has started on the router. Point number four is done. Point number five, so if we make a review what we have done, we put IP on the router, we could connect to it uh, using ping, so it's uh, we can see it. We made the RSA keys, it's uh, there. We created the username and password that I'm going to use it for uh, connecting to SSH, and I enabled the tenant. Now I have to say, for the lines that are going to be connected uh, to the router. So, you know, on the router, there are uh, five lines, uh, which are from zero to four. So that means five users can connect SSH at the same time to the router. So anyone connecting to those lines, they need to be authenticated by the user that I have created uh, on the local database. So that's what I'm saying here. Go to VTY LAN and make authentication mode uh, as AAA and protocol inbound SSH. So that means I only want to allow SSH on the router. So let's go to the user interface VTY 02. You see, we have 0 to 4. So that means 0 is the first one, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have five lines. That means five sessions can happen on the router as SSH. Now, that is, we didn't mention it's yet SSH, but that's what we are going to do in a moment. So, now, I have to say that the authentication, anyone connecting to the line VTY, the authentication mode on Telnet, sometimes we use passwords, but I'm going to use now AAA. So I'm saying that anyone who wants to connect to those five lines, you should be authenticated from the database that I have created, which is on the AAA. And then I make enter. Now, after I do that, I have to say that anyone who wants to connect to those lines is allowed to do only SSH. Look how we do it. Protocol inbound question mark. If you say all, that means anyone who connect to the router, uh, he can connect via SSH or via telnet when you say all. But I just don't want to use telnet because it sent everything as clear text. So I decided to only use SSH. So I will say SSH. This way I have finished the configuration of uh, the router and we need now to test if the configuration is working. Of course, don't forget to make safe of your configuration after you finish. Uh, so this configuration will be saved on uh, your uh, startup config. Point number five is done. Now point number six, open PuTTY and then do a test and see if SSH is working. 
So let's open Putty and then over here I'm gonna put the IP of the router 192.168.2.1 and it is SSH, you can see port 22. And then open. Here we go. You can see directly it has sent the key. You see this is the SSH RSA key that we created. So this is the RSA key that uh, we just created. I will say here I have to accept the key. And now once you are there, you just say put the username that we created, Maher. Password Haddad. Here we go. I'm inside the router and now I can do whatever I want. So sysname R1. I just changed the name to R1. If we go to the console, we can see also that the name should be now R1. So this is uh, excellent how it works. Now this lab is finished, but I just want to show you that uh, if you want also to add Telnet, that's possible. Because now if I go to Putty again, and from Putty I just put an IP of the router and I say that I want to do Telnet on port 23, you see it's not gonna work because we only allowed SSH. So if I put that one here, you see that Telnet is not working. So if you want also Telnet to work, so what you can do, let me show you what you can do. I will close that one from here. You go again to, let's scroll up so you can see. So we go again to user interface VTY 0 to 4. And I'll say protocol inbound. Now I'll say all. If I say display this, we see that now all is for this user interface from 0 to 4. That means SSH and internet should work uh, together. So let's uh, open uh, Putty again, and uh, let's uh, now try to do first SSH on port 22. So this is SSH, it is working. And uh, we go again, uh, open Putty, and then we make Telnet. So this is Putty. And I will open and make Telnet to this uh, router, the 2.1, this time is Telnet. Open. Also, while SSH is open, you see that the net is also working. I put my username, my password. But of course, this time it asks for username and password because we are saying that the local database is to be used. There is that uh, AAA that means uh, the uh, username Maher and password had that. Point number six is done. And uh, with this point, I have showed you how you can uh, enable SSH on the a Huawei router, so you can see straightforward. You only need to understand the logic and it works perfectly. If you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to make a like on the video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you are notified by the new videos that uh, I'm adding on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your time and uh, till next time.